Okay, it's uh, Monday, September 3rd here in Turin, and we're at the new FCA Heritage Hub, which is a fantastic collection of cars you're about to see. And we're speaking with Senor Roberto Jalito. Senor, yes, tell us me. what you have here. Hi, everyone. I mean, this is a more the three dimensional archive more than a museum. Mm -hmm. It's a place in the company where invention is taking the scene in terms of importance of interconnection among departments, uh -huh. the engineering, the product design, the strategies. And we like to, to separate some themes uh, of cars and uh, typology of cars in terms of attitudes. It looks like behind you, you have rally cars. Yeah, indeed, uh, this is the, 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 the perfect collection of rally cars uh, into a spread from the 70s to the first 2000 years. And uh, clockwise, we can see the original, very true original Sandro Munari, the Drago. Uh -huh. So it was probably the, the most uh, important rally drivers of every time, uh, Sandro Munari and his uh, Fulvia Coupe Monte Carlo, of uh, the winner car in the Monte Carlo rally in 19, 72, so it's the very original car, same paint, same uh, in back cockpit, all the original uh, uh, instrumentation for this car. Ooh. We like to preserve everything at the original state, although these cars were uh, submitted to, to a very special maintenance and restoration, but the, the, the Fulvia Rally is the, really the witness of how reduction Front wheel drive in this case were winners into the worldwide competition. Mm. And then this clockwise, this is such a, a tour into different ages. So the, the one to four Spider, the first the Fiat and Abarth uh, rally car, and then the powerful Stratos with the Ferrari engine and this particular scheme of, uh, of traction and position of the engine. The 131 sedan Abarth, yeah. probably among uh, all these cars is the, 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 the big winner because uh, three worldwide championships we won with this car. Wow. Basically a family car and uh, Lancia Rally, S4 Delta and then the apotheosis of Delta. So the ECV concept, these have never touched the the road but this car is probably the maximum expression of the delta research among the chassis among the the group b uh, solution okay and i see over here is a completely different category can we walk over here just a moment yeah this is these, regarding these, uh, these are some old cars over here yeah clockwise we start from 1908 this is the oh. fiat s61 and it looks to be in original condition, never restored, but maintained. Yeah, it has been uh, mounted. This car was delivered in boxes from the US. Uh, this car was the winner at the Grand Prix, American Grand Prix in 1908. 1908. Yeah. I was reading earlier that it, it uh, won in Milwaukee and, and it won uh, in uh, Santa Monica. In Santa Monica, yeah. This, this. Yeah, and uh, this one over here is uh, what, uh, the famous D50, yes? The D50 probably is the most precious jewel we have in the collection. It was anticipating the Ferrari D50, basically the same car that was given uh, as a present from Vincenzo Lancia to Enzo Ferrari to continue the Formula One competition. Have you had a chance to drive it? <laughs> Personally not, but my team normally is using this car each year for the Gran Premio Valentino inauguration. So this car is in a very well conditioned. You see all the rivets, yes. all the mechanical parts. With are... the fuel tanks on the side. Yeah. That's... Very rare car. Someone says this is a dangerous. Now this is probably the first example of safe car in terms of not being protected among the, the front and the rear wheel. And also this car uh, has no petrol tank in front of the driver. That's right was the position of the fuel tank. Well, Roberto, I want to thank you very much for uh, showing me around. And uh, when the uh, group of Americans arrive next week, uh, we hope you're here. Yeah, yeah, and, I'm very uh, glad to and, see you. And, and see us. And uh, I want to thank you. And uh, I'm just going to pan around here and you can see some of the cars that are covered. 
that we're going to be able to see next uh, week. Look yeah, at all these cars. And all the Fiat and Lancia rows unveiled, not covered by. <laughs> and look at this. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. It looks like uh, a Fiat version of a Hummer. Yeah, it's the Iveco Lynch. That is pretty much the Italian Hummer. Uh -huh. It's been uh, personalized into a Fiat uh, family feeling. Uh, this was before the, the, the commercial launch of the Fiat 500, the uh -huh. 500. Uh -huh. It looks the, like it has a rear engine. Yeah, it's a, no, it's a front engine. It's a, it's a military vehicle, of course, that has been uh, civilized by this uh, <laughs> pearl white paint, but it's a, it's a pretty, pretty serious stuff. Well, thank you very much, and it's again, again a pleasure to have you uh, here showing us around. Yeah, so thank Ciao. you very much. Ciao.